Welcome to another thrilling encounter. Today, we delve into the depths of a forgotten crypt where a swirling pool of lost souls and dark secrets await. Players will face the Soulbound Knight, an undead warrior cursed to guard this dark place. Once a noble paladin, his spirit was corrupted and bound to his armor. Now, he wields a fearsome glaive known as the Harvester, using ethereal manipulation and tormented souls to protect the crypt. As always, all creature tokens abilities and the magic glaive come with dynamic animations and automation. After importing the encounter, double click the map note to open the journal. Here you'll find everything you need, lore, creature stat blocks, adventure hooks, monster tactics, and mechanics. This beautifully crafted map provided by Heroic Maps, sets the perfect stage for our encounter. Heroic Maps has been creating battle maps and terrains for tabletop RPGs for over 10 years. Check out their Patreon in the description. Their maps are also available on DriveThruRPG. For the best experience, we recommend adjusting the darkness level to at least 0.6. To do this, right-click the scene title, Click Configure and navigate to the Lighting tab. This adds an overwhelming ambience to the scene. This encounter is tailored for adventurers at level 4, offering flexibility to adjust the challenge as required. A possible scenario for the encounter is when the players cross the bridge and reach the mausoleum stairs. The doors open and the soulbound knight emerges to confront them, delivering one of his quotes. On the first round, he can use one of his weapon's special abilities, Phantom Strike. This ability can put a player in an ethereal state, causing unique effects like seeing in black and white, seeing invisible creatures, and having disadvantage on attacks. Soul Reap is another ability of his weapon. Use it when you can target two or more players to maximize its impact. Spirit Call is an ability he can use every turn to command souls from the pool to attack his enemies. After using this ability, select two soul servants and add them to combat. Use this ability after the knight takes some damage to add new elements to combat and keep it interesting. The soul servants remain invisible until they make an attack, adding a layer of surprise for your players. If the knight reaches zero hit points, he automatically makes a constitution saving throw with a DC of 5 plus the damage taken, unless the damage is radiant or a critical hit. On a success, the Soulbound Knight drops to one hit point instead. If the Soulbound Knight is low on health, he can use Soul Sacrifice on a Servant to regain hit points by absorbing the soul. Additionally, if any Soul Servant's hit points reach zero, it heals the Knight. Those who defeat the Soulbound Knight can claim his weapon the Harvester, as the main reward. You can find more about the Glaive in the journal. To access our fully automated encounters and all of our previous magic items, you need to enable the module from the game settings under Manage Modules. Ensure that Boss Loot Animated Assets, Boss Loot Automation, and all other module dependencies are enabled. If you have recently updated the D&D 5e system, you are a new user, or you created a new world, ensure the automations work seamlessly by navigating to Game Settings, then Boss Loot Automation, and clicking the Optimize Settings button. To load the encounter, navigate to the Boss Loot Compendium folder, open the Encounter Compendium, and import all the content as an adventure. Note that all encounter folders that will be imported are marked with a red color. You can download the module for Foundry VTT containing this encounter and all the encounter we release so far, along with more than 50 magic items from any of our Patreon tiers. Please note that only the Legendary Looters tier includes animations and automation. If you like this content, consider liking and subscribing. More updates are on the way. Thank you for joining us and happy adventuring.